Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. I want to show you how to upload documents to HubDoc, and then also what happens if you upload two of the same. Instead of grabbing a boring bank statement, I thought I'd grab something fun. So I googled cute animals and I found this website with a whole string of really cute animals. We're going to pretend that this is an important document that we need to upload. So I've already printed this to PDF so I have it at the ready. I'm going to navigate over to HubDoc. I've already logged in because I have multiple accounts and I didn't want to have to blur. Or rather, I didn't want to have to ask my editor to blur. <laughs> When you log into your hub doc, you're going to see something that looks like this. In the top center, you can click on the green button that says upload document. And we can do a single upload, a multi page split, meaning split each page into its own thing, or a bank statement. All I want to do here is just upload my document. So I'm going to browse. I'm going to select my document. I'll select open. And it's just going to upload. It says processing, it's been uploaded. You can see on the left hand side of my screen under the tab for all that it's here and then it has a little clock like it's processing. This is currently in the processing tab. It's not in the for review tab or in the failed tab. It's just in the processing tab. Um, I clearly don't do anything with this because this is old stuff from 2018. <laughs> okay, let's pretend like we accidentally forgot that we had uploaded this and we want to upload it again. So better safe than sorry. So we'll clear it and we're like, oh, we need to upload that document about the cute animals. I'll click on browse. I'll select it, open it, upload it. Right now you can see they're both processing and I don't know how long this is going to take because it really has nothing to do with accounting. It's not a receipt. The software is going to get confused. To expedite this video and minimize the amount of dead air that Carlos has to cut out of it, I'm just going to show you what happens with the bank statement. So I uploaded my Bank of America statement twice. This one has a caution symbol saying, hey, this is in the review tab. It's up here in for review. I I'm not going to click on it and scroll through because I have about a month's worth of receipts in there. And then I have a second Bank of America and this one has a, like a caution symbol but with a paper. And when you hover over it, it says duplicate. I'm going to click on this one just so you can see. On the right hand side of my screen, it says, hey, this is a potential duplicate. I can say show duplicates and this will show, show me what it means. And it'll say, hey, you've got this one and you've got this one. If it's a duplicate, you can say, all right, I'm going to move one of them to the trash. If it's not a duplicate, you can just say, hey, that's not a duplicate. So I'm going to say not a duplicate for both doesn't hurt anything. It's not like I have storage limits here. And now they both exist, both with the caution symbol, meaning they're in the for review tab. From here, you can do whatever you would normally do with it. The purpose of this video is one to show you cute animals because who doesn't love that? And to show you that this is what happens if you upload the same receipt or document twice. Nothing bad happens. Everything is just fine. The software alerts you. You can choose to delete or keep. No big deal. In case you're wondering where this stuff goes, uh, maybe you're not terribly familiar with HubDoc, the things that I upload, they go into the uploads folder. So I'm going to open my uploads folder and I'll just go down to Bank of America. It automatically figures out where to put it. The statements we're looking at, by the way, are July. When I click on Bank of America, it has both of my July statements there. It doesn't have all the statements. It doesn't have everything because I didn't upload everything. I only upload my statements when I think about it or when I'm making videos. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. I use HubDoc uh, for receipt capturing, but you can see on the right hand side, I don't sync this up with my QuickBooks. I just, I have my folders on my left and that makes me happy. Anything that I can do for you, don't hesitate to let me know. Any questions, leave them below. If I can answer them, I will. And if I can't, I'll do my best to send you somewhere that can. All right. Thanks.